Hi. Welcome back to The Art of Living. I'm Bob Reed. Sarah Green gave up her life as an artist to devote herself full-time to being a mother. Motherhood was fulfilling for Sarah, but she missed having a creative outlet. She developed a panic disorder and often was overcome with nausea, anxiety, and irrational thoughts. Then, one day, a friend offered her some advice that transformed her life. Art is very healing. It's why people, when they're stressed out, their, their physicians or their therapists will recommend do some painting because it's a very zen-like, pure process. My father was a painter, as well as being a policeman and a butler. And um, he and I would sit and draw together a lot. And he's the one who got me into this. I mean, a lot of the, the work I do now, especially with the, the portraits of the celebrities and movie stars, is a tribute to Dad, because he and I loved film and we loved drawing the stars we saw. We loved studying the faces and the features. Uh, I've had people say, you cannot be a digital painter. That's impossible. And most people think that I take a photograph and I put it in the computer and I press a button and I voila, I've made an artwork. But that's not how it works. I'll put a series of reference photographs. I'll have four or five pictures of him sitting up. But what I do is I actually sketch. It's just as I would when I worked in pen and ink. And then they gradually fill in and you, you can actually see the person start to appear. fascinates me. What makes somebody famous and why are we so, why do we glom onto them so quickly? I know they're a regular person. The whole concept of celebrity is just fascinating. What gives somebody that glittery look just because they've been on a show or they can sing well or they're a sports figure? It's fascinating to me and so I naturally gravitated to it. We can take pent-up energy and we can put it out somewhere and we give that energy a direction and we can see the results of that energy. When we express ourselves, art is expression. It's expression. It's taking that excess energy we have out and putting it out in front of us. It's focusing everything, every worry I have, um, every delight I have. It's uh, an expression of what's going on in me and I'm channeling it all. It's going down my arm. And this very movement here, this very action has been very healing. At this late stage in my life, I finally had my first show. I was extremely honored to have the show. It's the first time in my life I've received reviews that I um, was thought of as an artist. It all went by in a marvelous blur. It was wonderful, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. For me, in my personal journey, when I became a mother, when I surrendered to motherhood, um, it came at a little bit of a price, and the price was I suffered panic attacks. The best way I can describe it is you feel you're going to die. I never knew when these things were going to attack. And I was telling a friend this because I became very reclusive. And he said, well, Sarah, have you drawn or painted lately? And I said, no, not in about two years now. And he said, well, you're going to have panic attacks until you draw or until you paint, until you're creating again. 
you'll be sick when I began doing my artwork. The panic attacks lessened. And um, now that I'm working eight, 12 hours a day, who has time to panic? I don't have time, I'm too busy. I've got artwork to do. So in that way, for me, art is marvelously healing. It's, it's a gift. It's the thing I've needed. When Sarah was suffering from panic attacks, she often convinced herself that she was dying. She wasn't, of course, but what was dying was her wellness, which in the past had always been nurtured by her art. Once she returned to painting, her panic attacks disappeared, her emotional health improved, and she reclaimed her overall health and well-being. Stay tuned to The Art of Living. We'll return in a moment.